Welcome to Bold Learn. This is the second part of our discussion about Mohr circle method for 2D plane stresses. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, please show your support and subscribe to Bold Learning. So let's find the maximum and maximum and minimum principal stresses for any given state of stress. Now in the problem that we have we have a sigma x of minus 20 and then sigma y of 90 megapascals and tau xy of 60 megapascals. Now let's construct the Mohr circle. We draw the x axis for the normal stresses and y axis for the shear stresses. You may note that the plus sigma is on to the right and plus tau is to the bottom or it's downwards. Mark the center of the circle C by calculating sigma average which is sigma x plus sigma y over 2 which equals 35 MPa. This marks the center of the most circle. Now find a point A which is sigma x comma tau xy. Sigma x is minus 20. So we move towards the left of the origin to locate sigma x and tau xy is plus. Therefore we move down from that from this uh, sigma axis to locate the point A. Once that is done we can calculate the radius of our Mohr circle as shown in this slide. We get a radius of 81.4 megapascals. Now draw the Mohr circle. Now you may observe that the Mohr circle has cut the sigma axis at two points. Sigma 1 being as shown in the figure and sigma 2 on the other side of the circle which has cut the sigma axis. Now these are the maximum and minimum principal stresses. Now you can calculate sigma 1 easily by sigma average minus r which turns out to be minus 46.4 megapascals and sigma 2 which is sigma average plus r which is 116.4 megapascals of course tau x prime y prime is zero because it is in the in the state of maximum and minimum principal stresses the shear stresses are zero now let's see or let's find out by how much do we have to rotate our element to reach this state. So we have to rotate our element by theta p. However, in the most circle, we see that we have to rotate by 2 theta p, which corresponds to theta p in the actual element. 2 theta p is calculated by the tan inverse of 60 divided by 20 plus 35 as can be understood from the figure which turns out to be 47.49 degrees clockwise which corresponds to theta p which is the half of 2 theta p which is 23.74 degrees now let's see how we can construct the new oriented uh, the newly transformed element. You can see that we have a sigma 1 of minus 46.4 and sigma 2 of 116.4. This marks the end of example 1. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Bold Learning.